So in this video, I'm going to share with you my current situation uh, with further maths as of the day of today, which is the 7th of November of 2021, about six months away from actually taking the further mathematics examinations. You might find this video useful in actually getting a better perspective on how further maths actually is. Hi, my name is Mario and I am a 17 year old international A-level student from Spain doing uh, year 13 right now. Today I want to share with you my personal perspective as a student starting year 13 uh, who is aiming to get an A star in further maths by the end of the school year. I said it, this is recorded. Apart from giving you insight about my experience of taking further maths classes, I also want to use this video as a way to motivate myself, to convince myself to actually work hard for this uh, and get uh, the A star, hopefully, for being accountable with myself uh, and making sure that I get this done. Because I truly want to get a good grade in this and I want to learn, uh, you know, the complex maths that is behind further maths. So first of all, I am taking the CIE further math syllabus. This includes 24 different topics across different areas of math involving pure mathematics, uh, probability and statistics and mechanics. I personally need to take four different further math exams. I have two two-hour exams of further pure mathematics one and further pure mathematics two. And then I also have two one hour and 30 minute exams about further probability and statistics and further mechanics. I know this sounds quite intimidating, at least it did sound to me. To be honest, I'm still quite scared about the content up to this day, uh, so yeah. So first of all, you might wonder, is further maths uh, manageable, achievable? And the short answer to that is yes. However, you do need to be aware that the complexity of the content is way higher than the one for A-level maths, as well as the increased number of hours that you will need to put in in order to actually understand what's going on and get decent grades. If you like maths and you want to spice things up a bit um, with a bit more difficulty and more challenging stuff and more interesting stuff as well, then just go for it. Uh, further maths is amazing in that aspect. I have currently covered about half of the syllabus and I have found it really interesting. You learn maths that is more advanced but yet uh, practical. Um, and it's also way more fulfilling and satisfying to actually understand these things and get the questions right. I have to say that sometimes it will be way more frustrating than any other subject because like it is difficult sometimes and you may not understand a thing after having tried many times but yeah it's all about uh, being patient uh, and being hardworking. So you will now be curious about my workflow. What do I exactly do? How many hours do I put uh, every single week uh, so that I can actually get to a place where I can perform uh, really well in the exams? Basically, what is my long-term study plan uh, for these six months until having the examinations? Well, nowadays that I'm uh, far away from the exam, I don't work myself too much, uh, but I do work really hard. And when I have freeze, I use some of my freeze to do some further maths. Um, and then at home uh, in the afternoons or in the weekends, I do put some uh, good hours of work. And this is apart from my two hours of class that I have every week, which may sound as little time, but it is more than enough to cover the theory. Uh, behind the topics. Uh, we cover theory really fast. It's more about a few uh, big concepts that you need to learn and apply in the questions. Um, so it's more about practice than uh, theory really. Uh, not that much time into the theory. This rounds up to at least five hours a week. If there are 24 topics uh, in the further mathematics book uh, and I have six months, this goes to about one topic a week. And, you know, at first, uh, when I thought about this, I was a bit like, sheesh, but in the end, it's not that bad. At first, it seemed like a lot to me, and I got a bit nervous. I was like, am I actually doing this? Uh, is this, like, really uh, a thing I can do? These days, for example, at the same time that I am covering uh, further uh, statistics in class at school, I am also doing, uh, apart from revising this at home, I am also doing my own revision of further pure mathematics one. I have already done roots of polynomials. I'm going to go with uh, rational functions. So in the end, one topic a week is achievable because I'm working on two things at the same time. 
um, and it's all right. I don't have to burn myself out, uh, just putting consistent effort in and I can get through the topics, do some past paper questions and actually, you know, be prepared. My plan is to get to Christmas having done the whole uh, further pure one content and also the further probability and statistics content, uh, which we are covering in class. Uh, so I think that will be good. And then in Christmas, I will do very thorough revision of those uh, two exams. And then I will start preparing for uh, Pure Mathematics 2, which is probably one of the most difficult exams that I have to do uh, because it involves uh, complex algebra uh, in complex numbers or matrices too. And it also involves uh, quite advanced uh, calculus uh, it has advanced differentiation, integration and differential equations. That's going to be difficult, uh, but we will work on it and I think I can do it. And then the only exam remaining would be further mechanics, which uh, although it will be difficult, it is supposed to be the easiest one for me because I already do physics uh, and in physics we do mechanics at a decent level. So it's not like starting from scratch. We already know uh, the basics of most of the topics. So this is my actual situation with further mathematics uh, A level. I am neither doing too well nor running late. So, you know, it's all right. The most important thing is that I am on the right track and that I am making progress every single day. I hope you found this video helpful towards getting a more uh, concise, more uh, accurate idea of what further maths is like, about how demanding but yet still achievable it is. You do not need to be a genius at all. Uh, if you just put consistent work in and you enjoy working on mathematics, you'll just get it done and you'll get decent grade. It's nor easy nor impossible if you work consistently uh, and you are serious with it uh, and you enjoy what you're doing, you will get through it, uh, you will do it perfectly well uh, and you will also learn a lot of stuff and it will also help you a lot if you're doing a university course that has some maths. Obviously, I will make more videos about further mathematics and I will also make sure to update you on my situation with further maths, on the progress that I have made uh, so that you can see that it is uh, possible to do it and you can also have some fun while you're doing it, while working really hard for the A star. So yeah, this is basically the end of the video. Uh, if you feel like leaving a thumbs up, uh, I highly appreciate that. And you can also consider subscribing to know when I upload a video uh, so that you can maybe benefit from it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I did not reach over there, so I'll just give it over here and say bye. I have finished a... However, you do need to be... Nothing has happened. Oh, shit.